Hello everyone, the Anthony S. You are alone. Today we're going to talk about education and not in the way that I think most will appeal to it in that I don't necessarily think college education is the only way to go. I believe a lot of people were sold on an idea that back in the 80s and the 70s was a good idea. If you went to school and you got a higher education, you were meant for those jobs. Now I believe college education is meant for those individuals that are going to stay in academia or are required to have such a high level of knowledge on one particular subject. I'd say either the sciences, uh, maybe some arts, definitely mathematics. Like if you're going for a data analytics of environmental data, even then you can probably learn without it, but it'd be really nice to be up there at a higher level because there's just a lot of knowledge they can teach you for those subjects. If you're doing anything like writing, or marketing, or business, any of those, a little beyond, you can really learn it in the real world. There is no real necessity. I've talked to individuals that have not even passed college and own businesses. I've talked to people or not not got through high school. Individuals that graduated high school didn't go to college. They're the manager of twelve A T and T stores. There is no limitations as long as you're willing to put in the work. So this is a double-double. I, I, I'm going to stress it almost every day now because it helps me as well keep putting in the work when I'm feeling a little tired and think, oh, I could just stop right now. But then realizing, well, if I can get this much more done and I'm, I'm having such a fun time that it makes no sense for me to stop. It's just my body being lazy. I'm enjoying the process so much that it, it, it's worth it. So I'm going to give a three-step little little plan today here for anyone that wants to really enjoy what they're doing and be willing to work at it as much as possible. First step, first step, find something that you're at least okay with doing more than three or four hours a day. If you hate your job, six of the eight hours you're there and one hour of it's lunch, I would strongly suggest you change. I don't know what to tell you. I would suggest you get into sales. This will be all be a lot easier fiscally if you do sales of some sort or marketing of some sort and be productive at it, effective, because it's just it's just easier to make money. It really is. But you can do it anywhere you like as long as you, you enjoy most of the day. Or it's not even enjoy like you're you tolerate. You're like, yeah, like I could deal with this. It's not that bad. People are nice, the work's not too intense, you enjoy it. Okay, great. So you got that first step done. Second te step is make a decision to learn everything about it. If you're going to do something, you might as well go full boat. There's a, a lot of cost entry for most projects. For instance, I'm trying to start do doing some high, like more intense book selling. At first, it was just me and a, a friend going out and looking for books, but now we're, it's getting a little more intense. There are a lot more tools coming out. We're buying scouting tools. We're buying Bluetooth readers. It's It's gone to the point of no return, but... In that it requires, both of us have been probably learning for, I say, 20, 30 hours in the last three days, two days, of just straight knowledge of what's going on in that world and how we can utilize it. And the third one, it, it really just put in the work. Uh, no other way around it. I don't care what anyone says. Some people will have better ends, fine. Some people will have better talent, fine. Some people will have uh, a gift or an easier way into a certain part of society, whatever it might be, I do not care. Yes, those are great to start, but the person that works the hardest will win every time, and I guarantee it. If someone says, oh, I worked hard and I still didn't win, maybe you were ineffective in your working, maybe you weren't pushed in the right direction, I, I sincerely believe, and feel free to come argue with me or to have a discussion, I will talk to anyone gladly, that if you put in a hard enough effort, hard enough work, you might not be the best, you might not be number one, but you'll be good enough where people will realize it and you'll be rewarded in such. That's just a given. Uh, there's more books, there's more data, there's more information out there from the top players in every sport, from the best writers to the, the largest business owners to the happiest people. To the happiest people. They might even re not even be focusing on the fiscal gains, just their overall happiness because they took an immense amount of time in studying themselves and studying the world. 
if you put in the effort after those first two, find something you can tolerate, learn the, the most you can out of it, be the best in terms of knowledge, and then put in the hard work to make it happen. You do those three things, and we could break it out even more for you if you want, but those are the three main ones. You will not fail. You will either succeed or you will learn enough to succeed the next time. I, I can't stress that enough. See, Anthony, yes, you are not alone. You are not alone. Use your words, Anthony, and I'll talk to you all soon.